Good day, my name is John DeMarguri. Um, I'm the CEO of uh, an entity called the Academy of Trade and Entertainment. Uh, I'm talk about uh, what we think is the future for education. Um, my background is, um, obviously not being able to use the um, yeah, My background is basically in technology, done technology companies as well as video games companies, um, and done really well out of it financially, and I've been pouring our wealth into a not-for-profit institution. We're located in Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, uh, Adelaide, uh, Wilson and Online Division, um, and also in Seattle and in Louisiana. So, basically we see education becoming more specialised, uh, focusing a lot more on uh, personalised service. So we'll see degrees being much, much more specialised with tutors working with students, uh, specifically on actual, on actual projects. We see them going towards internships, uh, very focused on industry projects, collaboration, um, and a lot of mentoring. Um, the students are going to be focusing on real world problems, working with industry. Um, it's going to be less about um, you know, exams, cramming, that sort of thing, focusing a lot more on collaborative projects uh, in, in the real world. We also think that we're going to see the advent of superstar teachers. These are people who are going to be earning salaries of $150,000, $200,000, $250,000 a year. They're going to be people who would, used to work at Google, but now are teaching. Real experts in the field. Uh, actually, you know, teaching it with small group of students. Obviously, industry mentorship and evaluation. We see industry being involved in the actual evaluation of the projects, the actual scoring. Again, less about cramming, less about exams but much more in the actual process of what's actually happening in a particular project and how you're actually achieving the outcome of that project. So the application of knowledge is what will be tested. How you apply knowledge, uh, and less about um, you know, the theories. You know, theories are important, but it's the application itself. So we see that it's going to be a big shift. We're seeing this actually happening in the US at the moment, where they're moving more and more towards competency-based learning. So we think there's going to be a very close link to industry, really close. I don't think people really understand how close it is. I'll give you a bit of a taste of what we're doing. Um, we see educators moving into setting up incubators, setting up co-working spaces, and actively involved. Now, we've been doing this for a while, and I'll show you some you know, successes we've had. So we have a, a, a project, or a course, sorry, for the Graduate of Library Management, so it's a postgraduate course. In that course, we teach our students how to actually establish a video games business, how to actually develop a business plan, how to actually market themselves in an international market. They have access to a 24-7 uh, studio, and they've got a lot of access of resources, and they do this particular course. They focus on commercialization. After this 12-month course, they move into what we call the AI Incubator. We have AI Incubators in Canberra, Melbourne, and Sydney. Students in the incubators are given free money. They don't, we don't take equity, we don't take shares. The cash that we give the students gives them the opportunity to take their product and market it around the world. We take them to major expos around the world, in Seattle and so on. Um, in fact, we spent $5.4 million over the last five years uh, in setting up uh, startups. We have a huge success rate. We have 76 startups that we've set up over the last five years, of which, uh, fit, no, sorry, 73 startups, of which 56 are still operational after five years. It's a huge success rate. So that's basically how it works, and we're moving in towards the film industry at the moment, and we're going to be making announcements about that. But then, this is the big one. We have a thing called Game Plus. Game Plus is a co-working space where industry moves in, as well as startups, our startups. And it's a collaborative space, and it's fantastic. We set one up in camera, and we're going to be announcing that we're basically um, putting them into other, into other cities. Uh, the one will be opening in, in, in a city soon, at the end of this year, with plans for another city the following year. Uh, they work really, really well. And one of the areas that we're now focusing is actually on the film side. How can we bring um, Hollywood movies to Canberra and to other cities, where our graduates work on a very similar model on visual effects, 3D animation, the areas that we're basically we're focusing. So thank you very much.